What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do the relearn idle air control on this Nissan Murano or any Nissan vehicle. Alright, what's up guys? Falcon back again. Um, today I'm working on this 2007 Nissan Murano. Um, we had the code P0507, which is basically idle too high. I already went through the regular process. I've double checked my cam sensor and crankshaft sensor. Everything's good. Um, we did have to clean the throttle body when we took it out. It was just full of carbon buildup. So after you do that, this code 9 times out of 10 will pop up. Um, and it's basically telling you, you know, since there's no more carbon buildup on the throttle body, there's more air rushing through the engine. So now your RPMs are higher than expected. And as you can see, um, regular um, idle RPMs on this vehicle are a little bit above 500. You'll see it drop down right now after the car idles for a little bit. Um, so at the beginning after we did all the cleaning for the throttle body and we removed the intake did some other work on it um the rpms were above a thousand so probably about 1200 so that's how we're getting the code so now i'm going to show you guys how to do the throttle position relearn or throttle air intake relearn um of course the procedure says you have to take it to the dealer and do do it with their scanner their tech 2 scanner but I'm gonna show you a quick way that you know you guys can do this yourself if you happen to clean your throttle body or have this P0507 code. So my fixture issue, there it goes, RPMs drop. So let me show you. Alright, for starters, we gotta make sure that the vehicle is at you know optimum temperature. So you know you gotta let it idle for a little bit and make sure that it's completely warm. You got to make sure that all your AC and everything stereo is off, your front lights are off, and of course, make sure that your charger system is working properly, you know, all the usual stuff before you do a relearn process. So, now that we have it all completely at, you know, optimum temperature and everything, we're going to turn it off real quick. So now what we're going to do, and I'm going to talk you through it, we're going to turn on, put the key in the ignition, put turn the key to the on position for three seconds and then we're going to turn it off for 10 seconds then we're going to turn it back on to the on position for three seconds and we're going to do that whole process three times so we're going to leave it in on position for three seconds turn it off for 10 seconds three seconds 10 seconds three seconds all three times each and then we're going to um, open the key one more time one last time and then within within three seconds of opening the key we're gonna hit the gas pedal five times within five seconds and then you're gonna let go of the gas pedal for about five seconds and you're gonna press the pedal all the way down for about 10 seconds after that you should see your check engine light start flashing continue to leave your gas pedal um, on the floor after you see it um, basically stop flashing, it just kind of stays solid. Um, take your foot off the pedal within three seconds and turn the car back on. And that if, that should be the relearn process on your vehicle. And your RP, you turn it back on, and your RPM should drop. You know a little bit. I think it's 500 or 400 RPMs that the car should be. So let's try it out and. Hopefully, I explained it where you guys can start the procedure. One, two. So now we do it one last time and then we hit the accelerator five times, release it about five seconds and then leave it on and then we should see the checking in lights start blinking.
and usually starts blinking within 10 seconds if you leave the foot on the accelerator for I don't know more than 20 seconds then it didn't take the relearn and you're gonna have to do it again so right now it stopped blinking so we took our foot off the accelerator and now we just turn it on and there it goes that's how you do the relearn on a Nissan, well this is a Nissan Murano, but same procedure for Nissan Maxima, Nissan Altima, the 3.5 or 2.5 liter engines, basically the Nissans. This is how you do the relearn on your throttle. So hope this helps somebody guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you know stay tuned for some more videos and keep your hood up guys.